to be on the program, that gets me away from breaking them beans that Linda's got in her bed. She got a whole, about almost a bushel of them beans. No. What, well, Linda? Probably at least a bushel and a half, maybe two. Oh, but man. don't worry. Ten o'clock's going to come. She said ten o'clock's going to come back to breaking beans. Man, that tell you what. Do we have any volunteers who want to come down here and help me break beans tonight after the program goes off? Plus all the other stuff that we got to do to take care of the problem. I mean, not the problems, the things after we get off the program tonight. And Linda's got all them beans running out of years. And folks, we didn't we didn't grow them beans. They Somebody brought them to us today. Her daughter and son-in-law brought them in here. Now, got a mop up. Uh, I don't know if y'all ever heard of the Amish or not, but we got 
Uh, we got an Amish place down in Delano, and we got one over in Telco Plains. So my daughter lives down at Delano. She went and picked me up two boxes of beans today and brought to me. Yeah, so I think uh, those Amish people <coughs> should 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 uh, give me a, a little break, a compliment on uh, making a. a uh, I, well, not an ad, but a commercial for them, you know. But anyway, we're glad to be here on this Friday night, and we call it Popcorn Night. And we eat popcorn and sit back, and we call it Red Night. And we're going to have a great time here tonight playing a great gospel music. Boy, we had a great program last night. Honored the 4th of July. But all the songs was honored. And we didn't lose no songs last night. We got cut off a little early, about seven, eight minutes early. But uh, we didn't lose no songs. We were on the television, and we went on the finished out about seven, eight, a few minutes over on the Facebook side. If you see a plain picture, of her, and that's what we did last night. But we did not lose one song last night on the program. We've had a lot of compliments about it. We had several views. Uh, come in on Facebook, but we had about seven to eight hundred uh, people that made contacts on Alan Presley promotional page last night, and boy, we like to say praise God for that, and praise God for you that are listening to our program tonight, and I know you're going to help us to get more people on because, folks, it's time that we win the world of Jesus and, and have things of God, you know, out here and share the love of God. This is a faith broadcast, and we are sponsoring our children. Lady Presley's done sent money to the children's home already. They probably done already received it. And they don't only have a children are taking care of children. They got ministry of several other things helping those parents or women that's have, going to have a child or a baby that's uh, out of wedlock or something, and they, they got all kinds of problems there, you know, they do, and they got a ministry helping these people. Not only did they help, got one here in Tennessee, it's real nice, real lovely. I've conducted youth camps over the years and been involved in it over the years right there in the same area. Beautiful place right there. They got places out in Arkansas. They got places in Alabama that they're uh, ministering the same thing to. And we count it an honor that we can help these children, plus keeping their own program going. And folks, you are part of it. You are the reason why that we're here with this type of program. And we appreciate that from the bottom of our heart. Every penny that comes in here is used for God and upbuilding the kingdom of God and trying to reach this world for Jesus Christ. And we are seeing miracles happen, and we're seeing different things happen through this program. And if you like being part of a program like this, send your donations to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's our address again, Alan Presley, 611 on Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Now, I know what I've got on here tonight. I got a shirt on here that Regina, don't ask me her last name, I forgot. And it's an Alabama shirt. Alabama shirt. Every night I wore a Tennessee shirt. But Linda don't have no Alabama shirt. She got something else, and I don't know if I want to tell you what her shirt says or not. What does your shirt say, lady? I'm the boss lady. Yeah, she's a boss lady, and someone's been calling her the boss lady. Well, she may be married to boss hog. Nah, I don't know. She, I'd call myself boss hog. I don't have a white suit. Yeah. What? Yeah, I need to buy you one. And she's over here not eating popcorn. She's inhaling the popcorn, which I'm over here running my mouth, and I don't get to get none, but I'm fixing to right now. As a notable Cortez going to come up and say, I'm not turning back, and I'm not going to turn back. I'm going to keep my plow in the ground, and I'm going to keep plowing, folks. How about you? 
like that kind of singing. I'm going to fly away home one of these days. Boy, it's so great being here on this popcorn Friday night. Popcorn. You know, that's why we're supposed to testify. You know, I've been in several places, and, and they'd get up and say, anybody got a testimony? You know, and, so, and then they say, anybody got a testimony? Somebody get up and say a few words, you know, and, and then here they go again. Anybody else got a testimony? Anybody else got a testimony? Anybody else got a testimony? You know, it sounded like, a, it sounded like an old stalled car going down the road, back far, and, <coughs> and they can't, <coughs> excuse me, and they can't get, the, they, they can't hardly get nowhere. You know, we as Christians shouldn't be like that. When we, when, when we want to witness for God and testify for God, it should be like, Popcorn popping, pop, 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 That's how anxious we should be to tell folks about the Lord. And man, I tell you what, let's do some popping tonight. Let's pop, 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 like popcorn popping and hit that share button like it's going out of style. Man, and let the world know that we're here telling folks about Jesus. You out there on Facebook? Hit the share button. Let's do it like popcorn popping. Be excited about God. Be anxious about God. And when you talk on Facebook on the comment list, talk about God. Talk Witness about God. Tell how great God's been to you. And he's been good to all of us, folks. We can never, ever repay God back. God's been good to Alan and Linda. And God's been good to you. God is so great that he that we made a lot of friends with you, and one day we're going to see the Holy of Holies like we've never seen before. Help us out out there on Facebook tonight. Let's get a large crowd in here. Let's bag them. If we have to bag and plead. You know what Jesus said? He said, go into the highways and hedges. The highways and hedges. And he said, compel them to come in. That word compel means a force. Try to beg and plead with them, whatever you can, to get in our get right with God because he's coming. And listen to the pains on this next song, folks. Here we go. Take a listen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise tonight. See? 
of what Jesus did on Calvary. Each year we gather, faces are missing. Thank God for the hope we can see them again. Where flowers don't fade, no hearts will be broken. In a place where reunions never shall be. And I long to see Jesus, my blessed Redeemer. Behold those sweet hands and bow at his feet. I'll thank him for every strike that he suffered. And it was because what Jesus did on Calvary. You know what, folks? You know, when you do the work of God, the devil's a roaring lion, seeking and devouring as many as he can. And he tries to destroy and he tries to wreck. And you know how it is. Well, the same thing goes on in mine and Linda's life, too, you know. The devil tries to it. But you know what thrills me and what helps me to keep going? is when I get phone calls from people telling us what you did on the program and what you done brings tears to my eyes. It brings tears and rejoicing to my eyes. When you stand there and you tell people about Jesus and we hear those great songs of being sung on your program, and the Lord, and the, and they tell you the Lord has spoke to their heart. That's what keeps us going. That gives us more encouragement than anything in the world when people share the love of God with you. And boy, that just frills you. That builds you up. When you can be down in the valley and down in the dumps, when someone calls and tells you that, it builds you up. It brings you back out, plants your feet back on the solid rock, and you say, I'm ready to go, and I'm ready to attack Satan, and I'm ready to stand for Jesus Christ. And that's what we're here for, is to stand up and be a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. All you people on Facebook, help us out there share the program tonight. And we 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 going to have a great time, and we are having a great time right here on Alan Presley Promotions. And we've been talking to a guy that's an old-timer in singing. I don't know how old he is. No, ain't going to ask him either. But I know I've used to hear him sung, sing years ago. I think he sung tenor part with the Cathedral Quartet. Yeah, I've been talking to him, too. I know Roger Horn sung with him, too. We've had Roger Horn on here. But we got songs that came in here this week from the guy that I'm fixing to tell you about. He watched my, he watched our watch program today. We had two watch programs, and he was on both of them. And, and, and I, I count. I always love to hear him sing when he sung with the cathedrals. I don't know who all he sung with, but we're working on tr him going to be a guest on our program, either by phone. If he wants to, he can come here live if he wants to. It's Danny Funderburk. And we, we carry the honor that he has contacted us, and we got some of his music here now. And we're going to let you listen to this guy sing. Man, he loves God, and he's a great Christian man. And we're going to let him tell us about what we've been talking about already. 
Tell me about home. I love to hear people talk about heaven. How about you? Let's get on board tonight and let's keep going on this Popcorn Friday night. As a child, I remember well how all the saints would tell about the sweet, sweet story of Jesus and his love. Then they would start to sing and how the rafters they would read as a sinner saved by grace begin to sing along tell me come and gone Some things change and some go on But the story told back then It has never lost its power Though it's old it still remains Pure and simple True Tell me once again Tell me about the green, green grass of old Tell me how love lifted me And wrote my name above And what, what a friend in a land where we will never grow It an honor that we have got to found out where he was at, and he's he uh, we've been talking to him some today, but anyway, we are going to have prayer here to me. But we'd like to give you a little update. Uh, Tom Moore down in Jacksonville, Florida, had surgery today, 
And a little bit before program time tonight, we got a phone call from Lori, his wife. And she gave us an update. Brother Tom had lung surgery on his lungs, and this was a pretty serious surgery. And he made it through the surgery real good, and he's doing fairly well, as good as it be expected. And they think they got all the cancer. We hope they have, and we're praying that they do. And they think they got all the cancer. And said he, and his wife Lori told us that he would probably be in the hospital for about four days. But it's going to take him a while to recuperate. So we need to pray for him and Lori, his wife, and pray for them down in Jacksonville, Florida. And keep praying for Brother Jimmy Putman. You know, he had a, uh, they done surgery on him. And it wasn't a little, little old bitty slice place that they did a little old bitty mark on him. They done a big, huge mark on him, about cut him wide open and get that kidney out there and tie the other. So they they didn't take no kidney out. He, he, I guess he's got three kidneys in there. But anyway, pray for him. And, and Betty. Well, and, and Betty, too, his wife. She failed and... Uh, cracked a hip, I mean a, a tailbone, that's what it was, and she's been pretty sore, but they 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 may try to go home Monday, they, they may try to go home, Get she needs to get home and get out of the room down there where she can rest a little better, but Jimmy I had to go back, and he gonna, they're going to keep close tabs on him for a while, so remember him in prayer, remember Betty in prayer. Also, and while Lady Preston, also pray for our daughter Lori. She fell yesterday or last night, and uh, she felt her ankle turn, but she hurt, uh, hurt her knee, and it's all swollen up. And I told her she need to go have it checked out. So far, she hasn't, but. She can't hardly walk on it. I told her she needed a knee brace, but it is swollen. Okay, we got a lot to pray about, folks, tonight. But more than anything, this is very serious business. There's people out there that maybe listen to my program. They're not right with God, and they're not saved. That is real serious business. You know, if they passed away before we got off this program, and by the way, think about this. While we're sitting right here talking now, how many people in this world is passing away and dying right now while I'm talking? Lots of them. More than you can count right now. How many of them is ready to meet Jesus? And folks, you think about that. This is a very urgent matter of us reaching people for Jesus. And that's what this program is about. We're going to pray for these needs. We're going to pray for this program, that this program will reach the world. And we are reaching the world. We're reaching thousands of people. We're reaching a big lumber every night because we see it. And we're going to pray right now. Our Father, thank you, Lord, for the day. Thank you, Lord that you, you give us life, health, and strength that we can live today. And God, we are a chosen vessel to carry your word and to share your word. And God, I pray that we as Christians, that we will carry your word and share it with the world. Lord, that's the only cure for this world is your word. And God is what you said. God, I pray for every individual out there that's listening to this program. And God, if some of them's not saved, I pray that they'll be saved right now, that they'll give their life to you. I pray for those that are saved and Christians, that they'll be more determined than they ever have before. 
to live for you and to share your word. Thank you, God, for those that help us and help our program. Thank you, Lord, that they are standing with us to try to share these great gospel songs and these things that we say about you. I pray for every one of them. I pray for every listener out there tonight. And God, I pray for one another. I pray for Tom Moore. Touch him and touch his wife, Lori. I pray for Jimmy Putman and Betty Putman, Jimmy's wife. I pray you'll put your hand up on them and touch them and be with them. And God, I pray for my own daughter, Lori, as she fell. I pray that you'll touch her. I pray, God, for all those that we can't name or we don't know about. But, God, you know about them. You know their name. You know who they are. I pray that you may minister to them, God, and help them. I pray, God, that we will do our part. And that's what we're trying to do here tonight on this program. And, God, I pray that you'll bless every listener. Help us be more determined than we ever have before to share Jesus Christ. And Lord, if there's a person listening to us that's not a Christian, they're not ready to meet God, I pray that they will give their life to you tonight and be saved. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Well, Lady Presley, we're going to get back to some more gospel singing and uh, who we got coming up to sing now? Dixie Melody Boys. Dixie Melody Boys. <clears throat> Are they going to be singing? Wait upon the Lord. Let's wait. Let's trust in God and pray unto God and believe unto God and carry His word. <laughs> made the image of his maker, God's creation by his holy word. But by sin we all are made to suffer, if we do not wait upon the Lord. I will work, work I will pray, pray every joy, every, every day, and then I'll rest. Then I'll rest. While ages roll, ages roll, I will sing, sing I will shout, shout, and I'll tell, tell the world about amazing grace. Saving grace, I'll save my soul, save my soul. here and there, everywhere, there. great to Sin is right, more than we content Sin. is a wonderful life. Come along, Come. join the song, Come. place your treasures in that home and wait with me. Wait with me. I will pray, I will talk every day for my Lord. Man, I tell you what, that's what I want to do. I want to tell folks about Jesus Christ. I want to do something. I don't know if we're going to get by this. I done got one request in here that somebody wanted to hear Kelvin Spencer sing his best song. <laughs> hey, Lady Presley, how can I get it? How can I get Kelvin Spencer's best song? All of them be good. Yeah. How many we got a Kevin? I don't know. Just roughly guess. 
We got about every song you sung, ain't we? Yeah, probably, but I don't know how many that is. Yeah, we got about every song that Kevin Spencer sang, and all of them's great. But we are going to pick one of his top songs tonight, shortly, and play it. But what I'm going to do, if, uh, if, if any of you got a request that you would like to hear, put it on Messenger if you're on Facebook and send a lady press leader. What do you want, lady? Nothing. Oh, I thought she did. And send it, send it in here, and we'll try to play it. Now, if you don't hear it, that means we can't play it or we don't have it. But if we got it, we'll try to play it and cover it. And, uh, folks, we're having a good time here playing gospel music. Take a listen. Lorraine Howard's going to sing this next song. Murray came to the tomb. And what happened, folks? Take a listen.
WOTG Radio Network, and we not only on three worldwide stations, we would have been on four, but the, one of them is down right now, but we own three worldwide radio stations, and we own BoxCast TV. Yeah, we own TV right now. There you can see us on BoxCast TV right now, and we're live on that TV, and then... Uh, later, if you still want to see the program on TV, you can go back and see it even later. It's about like Facebook, only it's television. And we're on that. We're on YouTube, and we're having a great time playing gospel music here tonight. And we going we got a bunch more songs we're going to be playing. And we got we like a few people out on Facebook to share a program. You know, I've been telling you, I've been talking to Danny Funderburg a little bit yesterday, a day before yesterday. I talked to him quite a bit today, and he's on he's sort of on a little vacation, him and his family right now, but he's going to get back to him in a few days, and we're going to try to have him on the program. He's a, he used to sing back years ago, tenor, I think it's tenor for the cathedrals. Like Roger Horn did, he did too, and I don't know how many groups he's been around with, but he's a great singer. He sent me his music. I didn't know he was going to send it, but I got it one day this week, and we got some of it right here. We used two or three songs of his last night on that special program. By the way, folks, if you hadn't listened to last night's program, about the four, uh, we played songs. Uh, uh, concerning the 4th of July and Independence Day. We've had a lot of people commenting on that. We had quite a few views, even on the Facebook. We had over seven, around 700 
that was contacted on my uh, Alan Presley promotional page. And there was a lot of people been involved. And they said we had a good program. We did not lose no songs last night. And we even played the Star Spaniel. And we didn't lose nothing. And if you hadn't listened to last night's program, I encourage you to go and listen to it. Danny Thunderbird. We got his songs, and he's going to be singing one of the older songs. I hadn't heard him sing this song. But I know he can do a job, and I think you're going to like it. It's The Love of God by Danny Funderburg. Thunderbird, man, what a great singer he is, and what a great 
person he is. And folks, we just having a great time here playing this great gospel music. And you know what we're here for? We're here for one reason. We're on business for the king. Isn't that right, folks? This is what we're here for. We're on business for the king. All of this is great business for the king. And we are on business for the king. And God is our leader. God is the one, is our captain. He's more than a captain. He's the shepherd of the flock. And we're the under-shepherd. And we're on business for the king. Yeah, we own business. That's what we're doing here. This is business for the king. And we this is serious business. And we're here to win folks to Jesus Christ. As Brenda Dittany and the second generation going to sing his song, Future and Grant Brenda. Brenda is working on getting her a CD. She's a soloist now. But anyway, you'll hear Brenda singing his song.
singing and the old redemption story and some sweet day i'll sing up there the song of victory oh victory in jesus my savior forever he saw me and And that was Allegiance on Alan Presley Promotions program. And we're glad to be here tonight, folks. And we are just having a good time playing this great gospel music here. And Lady Presley, we're going to let you introduce the next group. Uh, this is a new CD we got in. Was it yesterday? Uh, no, not yesterday. The mail didn't run. Wednesday. Uh, it's, uh, tell them who it is, Linda. Foretold. Foretold. They're from down here around, uh, about 60 miles from About us, 60 they? miles give from take. Ringo, Georgia. Yeah. Down there close to, uh, Don Stiles, right? They down there somewhere. I don't know where they live. Down there somewhere around mm -hmm. Ringo, Ringo, Georgie, and we're proud to have their music, and we appreciate their music, and uh, we appreciate everybody's music. But we, you know, uh, somebody might ask this question, lady. They wonder, might wonder why we play so many groups of the same songs a lot. You know why we play a lot of them? Because some of them is supporting us with, you know, and give, donating us money with our time. And they, they donate Alan Presley promotional program because with we, no nation, and, we, and they, they pay for their air time. Because we had to pay royalties on all the music that we play. All right. And we had to pay, Lady Presley writes a check every month. Paying for all royalties on every song that we play. And some of the groups donates us money to help us pay for these royalties. And when they pay, donate us money to help pay for the royalties, we do play their songs a little bit more than others because they are helping us. Pay the royalties. We have to pay royalties on every song that's sung. We don't know how much they charge for each song, but we give them a pretty good check once a month for royalties on every song that's been played. Now, all the groups is not uh, doing that. Some of the groups, some of them is dead, you know, but they we, can't do it. But we do have a lot. We used to uh, be with song licensing. But uh, they was in court and lost their uh, court case. So now uh, the royalties are played by WOTG Radio Network. Well, they was before. Well, yeah, but uh, Chuck never did put that on. He, he always put on song licensing. And now the royalties are even gone up a little bit more than what they was. But Alan Preston Promotions... Writes a check every month, paying for all royalties of every song. Our groups is not doing that. But we got some groups <coughs> out there and some singers <coughs> that send us donations to help us pay for royalties. And, and uh, that puts a, that's, a, that's the reason we hear, you hear a lot of them songs a lot more than you do others. Because, really, they're paying for their own air time. And that's what we have to do to keep our program going on the air. And we appreciate all the things that you do to help us get there. 
And we're going to play another great song. And Linda, tell them again who this group is. Uh, Foretold. Foretold. And here we go. Take a listen to this great group. Oh 
Once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It bathed my heart in love and wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Now let us have, have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. And he will answer by and by. by. When you feel a little prayer will turn in. Then you know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Sometimes my path seems drear without a ray of cheer. And then a cloud of doubt may hide the light of day. The mists of sin may rise and hide the starry skies. But just a little talk with Jesus clears the way. I may have doubts and fears, my eyes be filled with tears. But Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. I go to him in prayer, he knows my every care. And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have, have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. And he will answer, answer by and by. by. When you feel a little prayer will turn in. Then you know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Then you will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. And folks, that was the Fields of Grace. We got a request in here a little while ago. Does somebody want to hear <coughs> the best song that Kevin Spencer ever done? Mmm. That makes it hard on me. I don't know which was the best song he's ever done. Do you, Linda? No, they're all good. They're all good. How many songs we said we had a Kevin? You didn't ask me that once, I and I have, said, I don't, I don't know. Again. I don't know. I don't either. Man, we got a bushel barrel of songs of Kevin. See, Kevin, give me a... And I started this program about three years ago. In fact, yeah, we, we've almost been here right at <coughs> three years playing <coughs> this gospel music and having this program. <coughs> Excuse me. And Kevin has uh, helped me out quite a bit into this. He said, I'm not going to have to worry about no songs. And believe me, I didn't. I got some. I got about every song probably that Kevin sung. There's one song I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I know he did it years ago. I found it on a video, but I don't have it. And I've asked him to see if he can find it, and he ain't found it yet. But I got a whole bushel barrel of Kevin Spencer songs, and all of them is good. Every one of them. So I tried to pick one of his top songs like last night I, I played a couple of songs of Kevin God Bless America and uh, a couple other songs I played Wounded, Wounded Soldier Wounded Soldier and uh, <coughs> We Trust in God or something like that and I played <coughs> about three of his songs last night so I tried to pick out a top leading song that he sang like I said, all of them is good. I got a tickle that's in my throat. So 
<coughs> Elizabeth Lawson asked me to play one of Kevin Spencer. So I got the one that he's getting a lot of requests for right now. And this is the title of it. Let the blood speak for me. And folks, more than likely, this guy has the best male voice in Southern Gospel music. And I want you to listen to Kevin Spencer sing this great song. Courtroom facing charges on my life. My fate would be decided. Would I live or would I die? But Satan had forgotten I'd been to Calvary. I did not say a word. I let the blood speak for me. committed would justly take my life I waited for the verdict condemned and sure to die but as they found my hands and feet and were taking me away the judge said wait a minute let's see what the blood has to say
Presley's promotions here on the WOTG Radio Network, and we own Boxcast TV, we own Facebook, we own YouTube. Somebody might ask this question Why do you do that for? We do it because we want to be a blessing to somebody in this world. We do it because we want to help someone. We do it because we know that this is the only answer for our world. Is Jesus Christ the Lord. You might wonder why you do it if, it, if it's that expensive. It is expensive. I've got, I made a video that you can see on Facebook. We tried to show you what goes on even in right here in this room. We operate on three computers. We operate on three monitors. We got to have a special monitor, special box, and a computer that be hooked to the TV, we got we got the uh, sound we got the software here in the computer that I'm operating for the radio hookup. I'm playing this great gospel music. We got a soundboard in here, all kinds of equipment in here. Operating on three computers, a special box for the TV and all that. Then we there's all the work that we do. We do it because we love God. And we're trying to reach the world for Jesus Christ. And, they, and we don't just come in here and sit in here for two hours. We work day in and day out on this program. We download music, putting music in there, answering people's questions on the phone, answering questions that comes in on the hot box from Facebook. And it's, it's a day in. We never ever get in bed to past 12 o'clock every night because we work on this program constantly. And, and now Linda's got an extra job, us canning some beans and putting up a few beans to help us out in the winter months. And, and it, it, is, it, it is expensive. Then like a lady Presley was telling you a while ago, we pay royalties once a month on all the songs that we're playing. And, and 
then plus all of our equipment and stuff like that. And then we we go on to helping the children out now. We don't grumble about that. We don't talk, but we just share it with you. We do it for one reason. Because the world is in a big mess. And now we got access to all this stuff that we can reach around the world. We've had people listen to this program in India, Japan, the Philippines, Canada, all across the United States of America. North Ireland, we've had more than one person listen to this program in North Ireland. Bermuda. Huh? We had somebody from Bermuda. Yeah, we've had them. We've had them from all across this world. And we sit right here in our home and be a missionary. That's what we do, folks, right here. See, we're not just on Facebook. Facebook, we out, we on it. Sometimes they give us a hard time. Last night they treat us like a human. But yet, we're on a, a BoxCast TV. we on the YouTube, which a lot of people pick us up from the YouTube. And we own these different things. Trying to reach the world for Jesus. Yeah, we got our enemies. The devil uses enemies to attack us. But you know what? We keep going. All the blessings of God that comes behind it. All the good things. When I get witness from people, said tears came to my eyes and God touched my heart through a song or, or something that you did, Alan. That's what thrills us. And if you like being a part of a program that's reaching the world for Jesus and trying to reach out here for Jesus Christ and using every tool that we can get a hold of to share the story of Jesus, then help us out, folks. Help us to stay there for Jesus Christ. Here's our mailing address, Alan Presley, 611 Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, Three seven eight seven four. Here's her address again. Alan Presley, six one one Ohio sixty eight, Sweetwater, Tennessee three seven eight seven four. We love you. We love all of you. We appreciate every one of you. And God bless you. And God bless the world. And I just wish the world would come to Jesus. Lady Presley, you gave fame to say tonight. Well, we got time to play probably maybe three more songs, and then we'll have to get out of here and see everybody tomorrow night. Oh man! After I get through with, yeah, get through with the program, it's it's yeah. You got some work to do tonight, Alan. Yeah, how many of you people would come down here and volunteer and help me break these beans up? <laughs> Will you do it? I might even give you a bite or two of them. I'll catch you later. Tomorrow night, again, on Alan Presley Promotions for the rest of the story. Let's play these songs. Let's go, Lady Presley. Who's this coming on board? It's Jimmy Putman. My good old friend Jimmy Putman that God gave a kidney to. And he's going to be well very soon.
good night, folks, and God bless you. And we look forward to being back tomorrow night. And we've got a few seconds left, so good night and see you tomorrow night. And hope you'll have a, a good, good weekend night. and and praise the Lord through it all. Close out with this song, Linda. Hit it. You stay away when people come to know the Lord. The devil always loses, so to keep them folks away from the church, he offers them excuses. Well, the preacher, he's too young. No, I just turned it off. Well, the preacher, he's too young. Maybe he's too old. Those sermons, they're not hard enough. Sometimes I get too bold. His voice is much too quiet like. Sometimes it gets too loud. He needs to have more dignity or else he's way too proud. Well, the sermon the preacher we've got must be the world's most stuck up. Oh, I got it. Well, the sermons are too long. Maybe they're too short. Oh. The sermons are too long. Maybe they're too short. He ought to preach a word now instead of stomp and snort. Well, that preacher we've got must be the world's most stuck up man. Well, one of the ladies told me Sunday. Why, well, he didn't even shake my hand. Excuses, excuses, you'll hear them every day. And the devil, he'll survive it. In church, you stay away. When people